Will you believe if I told you just typing in five characters on your command line can actually cause your computer go crazy? It can actually crash your computer, may it be a regular laptop or a high-end laptop or a PC or even a mainframe. This kind of a very interesting attack that can happen by just typing in five to six characters is a popular attack called the folk bombing attack. What is folk bombing? Folk bombing is a, a very interesting denial of service kind of an attack where you create a process and a sub process which is otherwise called a fork, right? For example, you create a fork from the parent process which is called the child process. So you create a parent and a child which is now called the fork. The interesting thing is it is possible that you can say the output of the child process should go as an input for the parent process which means that you are making it in a cyclic loop. So the output of A goes to B and output of B goes back to A. So again it goes into a cyclic process. So what actually happens while doing this is it actually tries to exhaust all the possible memory available in the system. Say for example you have a memory of say 32 GB RAM in your system. Right? That is why I said irrespective of a laptop or a PC or even a mainframe system, right? it can even have 128 GB of RAM irrespective of all that. This particular technique of having the output go as an input back to the same process can slowly start up to eat all the memory and bring the system's performance come down drastically and eventually crash the machine. And most of the times, it would make the system go into the blue screen of death issue. Let me also tell you, what is this command? What, what am I talking about? Say for example, I want to explain about myself. I can say my name as Vinod or I can say it as me or myself, right? There are three popular forms of denoting myself, right? Likewise, if you want to talk about a computer, you can either represent that computer as 127.0.0.1, which is localhost. Number two, you can otherwise represent it as a local host. Number three, you can represent it with the host name, right? There are three popular ways in which you can do it. Likewise, when you are having a running process, right? In command prompt, you open cmd.exe, imagine, right? So you type dir, you type clear and all these kind of commands. What actually happens is that particular process can be represented by saying percentage zero. Percentage zero simply means currently running process, right? So what I do is I open notepad, type in percentage zero, pipe percentage zero. Pipe is a symbol that, that's available in your keyboards, right? Most popular keyboards. So percentage zero, pipe percentage zero. I save this as a batch file in my computer. And what I do is I just double click it. What happens? Percentage zero means currently running process. Again, another percentage zero, another running process. There's a pipe, right? This another running process means there is a fork for the child process. So this child process gives the output back to the main parent process by saying the pipe symbol. Pipe symbol means you're giving the output back to the first uh, data as a parent uh, process. So what happens is there is a cyclic loop here making the system's memory starve and pull down the whole uh, processes. It, it totally becomes very memory hungry. It starves the system to death and crashes the system finally. This kind of an attack is called the folk bombing attack. Please be mindful. It is not just with Windows. It is not just with Linux. It is ju not just with Mac, but with almost any operating system and almost with any programming language. Each programming language has its own variant of a folk bomb attack. Let me re-clarify, is folk bombing actually an attack? No, it is a feature that often is capitalized by an attacker to make a flaw from the feature. I hope you all had something to learn from this. In case you did, consider subscribing. Thank you.